pre-prepared the components that I'm going to populate here and the boards. And I got um, everything I need on hand. So I have the um, tape pin and the cam locks. And basically all that happens is you slot the tapes into the tape rails. And each time you get one done, you use the pin to get the positioning exactly correct. You just have to move it around until you feel that hole. There it is. This one's a little thicker, it's sometimes harder to get started. There it is. And the x-axis ones we just load from the other side. It's more convenient. All right, <clears throat> and now for the boards. Um, for these circular boards, they're a little more complex than square boards. Basically, we start by putting a cam lock in to have something to mount the board against. And then we load it in like this, and you have another one. Here, and you press it tight. And the round boards, again, you have to kind of worry about the orientation a little bit, but there it is. <clears throat> And we just stack it up another one, oops, like this. Round board. Square it up a bit. All right, and now we're ready to load the base jig into the pick and place machine. <clears throat> 